In Britain, billionaire newspaper owner Rupert Murdoch spent the day on the defensive. He appeared before an ethics inquiry that's looking into the long relationship between his media empire and the British government. As the CBC's Adrian Arsenault reports, Murdoch denies ever taking advantage of his unique position. For 30 years, as British prime ministers came and most certainly went, a constant character in their worlds was Rupert Murdoch the billionaire media mogul whose press holdings shout at the British every day was the man at Christmas parties, tea parties, yacht parties, in back rooms and at the back door of number 10 Downing Street. Questions to the Prime Minister. Cosy, yes. How cosy. And I think on all sides of the house there's a bit of a need for a hand on heart. We all did too much cosying up to Rupert Murdoch. I think we'd agree. So now the uncomfortable questions. Did access mean undo Murdoch influence on policy or business? So the evidence I shall give shall be the truth. Figuring that out, the core pursuit of an inquiry that will soon be calling on the current and former prime ministers to testify. I, I welcomed the opportunity because I wanted to put certain myths to bed. What's the myth, Mr. Murdoch? That I used the influence of the Sun or the supposed political power to get favorable treatment. I've never asked a prime minister for anything. That might technically be true, but a man like Murdoch doesn't need to ask. It's the art of what you might call quid pro quo. His connections are the talk of talk radio. That's because Murdoch owns 40% of the press. And the belief is, if the Murdoch press decides that you're a bozo, that you're not worth voting for, that's what they'll say, and you won't get elected. The perception of influence mattered today, particularly whether Murdoch used relationships to try to secure a takeover of the network B Sky B. Nope, never came up, he said. Not even at Downing Street meetings with the British Prime Minister David Cameron when Murdoch says he was asked to use the back door. Uh, there are reasons for that. They always seem to don't want me to be photographed going out the front door. This is all so awkward for the politicians, and already political heads are starting to roll. A special advisor to a minister, a man who gave too much information to the Murdochs, has just lost his job. It's just one job, but likely not the last. The testimony continues, and it is all getting closer to the top. Adrian Arsenault, CBC News, London.